In this video, we'll use an equilibrium expression to calculate an equilibrium constant. The reaction that we'll consider is, once again, the production of ammonia from hydrogen and nitrogen gas. We've previously worked through the process of how we would calculate a KEQ. This time I'm going to write this as KP because we're going to be considering the pressures of the three gases involved in this reaction process. So let's consider the following scenario. Let's imagine that we know that there is a pressure from ammonia of four atmospheres, a pressure from hydrogen of two atmospheres, and a pressure from nitrogen of one atmosphere. I'll just go ahead and plug those values into my KP expression in order to calculate the equilibrium constant. So again, the value for ammonia was four atmospheres. And we're going to go ahead and square that. That's going to be divided by the value for hydrogen, which was two atmospheres. That value will be cubed. Again, this is being found from the coefficient of three in the balanced equation. Finally, we're going to multiply by the pressure of nitrogen, which is one atmosphere. So we can see as we work through this mathematically, four squared will give us a number of 16. Two cubed will give us a value of eight. Multiplied by one is still eight. So we'll have 16 divided by eight. And this will simplify to a value of two. We don't include units with these types of calculations. Now, what does this number indicate to us? If we see equilibrium constants, which are greater than one, it means that we're favoring the formation of products, in this case, the ammonia. If we see numbers which are really big, for example, a thousand, this would mean that we're really favoring the formation of products. If we see equilibrium constants which are less than one, this means that the actual process being favored is the reverse process, which would reform the reactants.